by your door, you got a chrome 44. Get the message, come out, get the message. It won't even be a world, no beef, no more. Get the message, come out. Fisk you, Nick. Soldier. Fisk you, Nick. Soldier. Fisk you, Nick. Soldier. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button, all right? Hit the sub button, join this Fist Unit army, and get Fist Unit tough. When you're done doing that, Head on over to the new Twitter, the Elon Musk Twitter, where I could be as disrespectful as I want to and I get banned. So all y'all who've been trolling me on Twitter and I've been letting y'all live, it ain't safe no more. It's not safe to troll me on Twitter no more. Alright, at BullyFisk on Twitter. It's about to get real over there. It's about to get real on Twitter. So you're not going to want to miss this. At BullyFisk on Twitter. Now, let's get to the business. We're going to talk about 5 and 7, and then I want to talk about the tight end and the runner back that I believe we're going to draft. Now, I want to say forgive me because I never dropped my tight end video, and the irony of the situation is I actually recorded my Jelani Woods video the same day I recorded that James Cook Saquon video. But we ended up signing some random from the Texans, and I just, like, I never actually uploaded it. But it's actually, like, it's unlisted. So when you're a YouTuber, you can upload a video, and you can leave it unlisted, and you just upload it whenever you feel like it. So it's actually on my YouTube channel. I just have uploaded it. But I do believe we're going to take the Jelani Woods kid. He's six foot seven. He's a big boy. He can block. He's a red zone target. I think that's our tight end in the third round. Didn't do the video. Well, I didn't release the video, but that's who I think we're going to draft. And it wouldn't shock me if we draft two tight ends. Even though we brought in the, what's his name, Atkins or whatever from the Texans. And we brought in Ricky Sears Jones. I still think there's a good chance that the Giants draft two tight ends. Also. We're going James Cook. I wouldn't be. I think because of where we're drafting in the second round, I don't think we'll. I don't think we're gonna take James Cook because we're so high in the second round. We could still get an elite offensive line talent, or we may be able to get one of those elite corner talents at 36. So I don't think we go James Cook at 36, but. One of my bold predictions for the Giants is we try and take that, we try and package that 36 pick and move back into the first round so we can get a fifth year option on another player. Uh, I've heard rumors that Joe Shane might try and trade <clears throat> back into the first round because if he if he can get a pick in the 20s, if he could take that 36 pick. <clears throat> and another asset, maybe even a Bradbury. Maybe that's how we can get rid of Bradbury. You take the 36 pick, you take Bradbury, and you get a first from someone else late in the draft. You get it? Like it, it, it kind of like how Orlando Brown, like the, like the Ravens traded Orlando Brown for the Chiefs' 30th pick in the draft. It's basically a second round pick. But they get the fifth year option. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's been done before. Well, I'm not saying Bradbury's worth a first round pick. But if you're a team that's picking later in the draft and you could get Bradbury without having to basically give up any compensation, I think that might be a way we can get rid of Bradbury. So it's like the team with the 28th pick in the draft, we go to them and say, hey, here's Bradbury, here's a 36 pick. Give us a 28th pick so we can then go and get a player on a fifth year deal. You know, because only first round picks get the fifth year option. So that's another bold prediction to have for the Giants. Now, 
That's Jelani Woods, that's James Cook, and that's trading back into the end of the first round. Five and seven. <laughs> you know, the, the main event, baby. What everybody cares about. What everybody listening to this video cares about. Who does Big Fisk think Joe Shane is going to draft with the fifth and seventh pick? So... I'm going to tell you what I want to happen. I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen. What I want to happen is we get Evan Neal and we get some combo of either Kayvon or we take another offensive lineman. In a perfect world, I would love to take Evan Neal at five and Charles Cross at seven. We put cross attack and we put Evan Neal at guard and there's an offensive line with Andrew Thomas. That's what I want to happen. I want to fix the offensive line, Giants fans. I love Kayvon Thibodeau. He's the best player in the draft, but I want to see Daniel Jones and Saquon Prosper. I love Kyle Hamilton, best safety in the draft. I want to see Daniel Jones and Saquon Prosper. That's what I want to happen. I would love to take Evan Neal, put him at guard, and I'd love to take Charles Cross, put him at tackle. I, I think that would just set the line up for a decade. We could be the Cowboys. Cowboys had Zach Martin, uh, Travis Frederick, and they had ooh, Tyron Smith. We could be the new Cowboys. That's what I want to happen. I doubt it happens, but that's what I want to happen. What I do think the Giants are going to do a 5-7, and seven, if I'm reading the reports correctly, is we're going to go Evan Neal and Sauce Gardner. If I'm reading the reports correctly, the Giants are probably going to go Evan Neal and Sauce Gardner. But I don't want a corner. I'm going to be very disappointed if we take a corner at 5 or 7. I'm going to be highly disappointed if we take a corner. And I think Joe Shane is smarter than that. I don't think he's dumb enough to take a corner at 5 or 7. I think Kayvon's the guy if he drops. If Kayvon is there at five, I think we take him before we take that lineman. I do. But if you put a gun to my head and said, Fisk, who are the Giants taking? I'm going to go Neil and Sauce Garner. But I got to see them pass on Kayvon to believe it. I have to physically see the New York football Giants pass on Kayvon Thibodeau to believe it. I got to see it to believe it. I'm sorry. I got to see it to believe it. Nobody's going to prioritize a cornerback over an edge rusher. It's not happening. It's not happening. I know you Sauce Gardner sicker fans out there, you know nothing about football. If you take an elite corner over an elite edge rusher, you're stupid. You're just dumb. Especially if you're a Giants fan and we watch Ozzy and Strahan win us a Super Bowl. And then we watch JPP and Tuck. When it's another Super Bowl. Like if you take an, a corner over an edge rusher, you're freaking stupid. Especially it's just, as Giants fans, like you should know better. <laughs> it's just, you should just know better. No. Like Corey, I love Corey Webster to death, but Corey Webster's nothing without Strahan and Ozzy and Tuck and JPP. Him and Aaron Ross would have been getting burnt like breakfast toast if it weren't for the pass rush. So uh that's where a man on it. I would love to go Evan Neal, Charles Cross at 5-7. and seven, But I think we go Evan Neal, Sauce Gardner. And I'm just throwing the caveat out there. I got to see his pass on Kayvon to believe it. I got to see it to believe it. I have to see it to believe it. But anyway, that's it. That's all. I will be live for the draft on my other channel. On my main channel, General Fist Vegas is where I will be hosting the draft okay but with that being said that's it that's all subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me my name is fist vegas and i approve this message